and welcome back everybody here's another video um, today I think the first thing I want to do right now is I'm gonna hop in the gator and drive out to the field where the 8530 is and I'm just going to quickly plant um, the one field the very small field over there um, so that's the planter over there in the distance we're just gonna drive over there real quick um, so recently, well, hold on, I'm getting a little, <laughs> maybe I should have sprung for the, uh, off-road terrain tires. I have a mod that makes, uh, makes certain tires not do as well in the, in the mud, muddy fields, so, but anyway, we're just going to drive around. By the way, I'm going to stop right here real quick. I don't know if I released this video yet, but I just purchased this mod um, it's a, called a honey room and it's separate from the honey bee hives here um, this is a mod that you're supposedly supposed to get honey from so I purchased this structure here and then uh, also purchased these honeycombs here um, so I don't know I'm still researching this but I'll be giving an update on that later and also something I added is these little um, exactly what they're called but they're basically like mini weather stations but they're for you know being placed next to the crop field uh, like a thing that's supposed to capture maybe rainfall and, and different things like that so because the rain the amount of rainfall can vary per field you know it's like you get a rain cloud that passes over one field but not the other and that can add up you know over the over the course of a season so just something a little uh, a little neat I thought I'd add details like that so and uh, anyway, just gonna drive up here. And I was <laughs> trying to get readjusted with the uh, GPS system on this tractor and finally figured it out. Um, so I'm just going to hop in here and just finish, or just rather plant this one field here. And I think I'll do canola um, just because that's my go to crop and it's something I actually make use of and I'll eventually be uh, making biodiesel with so that's the plan uh, for right now but uh, yeah I do love this I love this tractor <laughs> this is like a really really good looking tractor in the planner the Great Plains planner looks good and things sounds great when it starts up so yeah this is gonna be my this is gonna be my workhorse for the uh, most fields, um, but I do have that case uh, 7520, um, which I also have really been enjoying. Uh, but I, that's going to be probably for smaller fields. Really, it should be fields like this small should be for that tractor. But since this thing's already here, and I just want to get a little more uh, re-familiarized with the GPS system, figured why not just start here. So. Just to kind of get lined up here. It really is a really small field, but uh, and this is not this crop uh, is not something I planted. This is something that was here. Um, so it's I'm new to this farm. Only got a couple hours invested in this farm, so I'm just planting over the standing crop. And uh, if you haven't seen previous videos, this planter is a special mod that allows you to plant direct into standing crop. So uh, no tilling or, cultiva or cultivating necessary, which is good because I like to practice sustainable slash regenerative farming uh, or no-till is one of those, uh, one of the practices uh, that I like to, I like to do, so. Oh, okay, sugar beet. I didn't even recognize what that was, so. Withered dead sugar beet. <laughs> and I need my help menu on here. Uh, because sometimes there's a lot of commands I have to go through and oh yeah I, forgot. I also need to activate the need to turn on the GPS system because I need to draw a line or maybe it'll auto generate let's see let's see what happens here if I turn it on because we are next door to the field I just planted and it might generate a line for us. Okay. 
Oh, I don't know why it says that. Helper J's completed their task, whatever. Whatever that means. <laughs> oh, I guess because sometimes... I guess because the command is sometimes for the helper. Oh, okay, Alt X. Oh. Oh, okay, I've got to create a track. Poop. Okay. Uh... Okay. Let's just take a look. So, this is the menu. Okay, so I'm going to have to set A once I'm in the field. Uh, okay, I'll do that in a second. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, why did it... That's weird. Why did it suddenly decide to do that? It generated a line for us. Okay. Well, the prob. Oh, okay. I see what it's doing now. Okay, I can live with that. All right. So this is gonna. This will make it easy then. So I can live with letting sacrificing that edge of the field there. Um, I'm just gonna follow the line that it's generated for me. And okay, cruise control set. I'm just gonna pull into the field here a little bit. Oh, I need to turn on my steering. There we go. Steering. I wonder why I wasn't working a second ago. That's strange. Or maybe, oh, okay, maybe it didn't think I had selected the tracker. I'll take a look later in the post-game post, post uh, what is it, post game briefing, post-video briefing. Uh, okay, so lower, we've got a canola selected, cruise control set to six. Uh, hold on, before I turn it on, we are on the correct path. Yeah, okay, path is green, steering's on. Uh, good. Okay. Good to go. Yep, so the tractor is steering itself now. We're planting nice straight lines. We're following the uh, predetermined path here. Now we're crossing over. This is from my soil sampling expedition. That's one of my other videos. Um, get on. Sweet. Uh, yeah, we're definitely planting. Okay. And there's my beep to stop, turn around, cruise control set, just kind of kind of watch these trees, drop my speed a little bit here. <laughs> I was getting a little too comfortable with the smaller planter and it's like, uh, just gotta really pay attention here. Let me get my, there we go, it's not too tight of a turn I don't think. Okay. And hmm, I gotta think about really I, I don't need to leave a gap. I'm gonna just start at the very edge of the field there. Really overthinking this. <laughs> Less so it's one. Okay. Go, steering's activated. Right on. So yeah, just planting, uh, planting some more beautiful canola over the areas over in that field uh, is half sunflower, half canola. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to think about what other crops I want to plant. Um, but I think, yeah, just for now, it's mainly canola. So, and uh, I think I left my gator in the way. out here. Uh, needs plowing, it tells me. I don't, I don't believe in that. <laughs> well, you know what? Actually, I could come back with the... Actually, well, that's not very wide, but... I don't mind leaving these edges here. Um, you know, it gives me a little extra room for maneuvering vehicles in between the fields and everything like that, but... Um, also, it, you know, as you saw, it happens to be where the GPS system lines up, so that's fine. We'll just adjust the fields as necessary. It'll just save time in the long run because, you know, if I keep using this width of a planter, I don't have to keep reprogramming it. You know, I just, I know exactly what lines I need. The spacing is already preloaded, so. And I can always, you know, reclaim this and use it as something else or just leave it as, you know, let it go to habitat or something, so. Uh, part of my regenerative farming, uh, you know, things I like to try, and at least visualize, of course, in the sim. So, uh, okay, we got a couple little weeds there. 
Oh, it's gonna move the gator, right. Yeah, I might have to turn a little sooner because we've got this hill here, so that's not gonna work. I'll just move this. Actually, I don't really need to. It looked a little, it <laughs> looked closer in the cab. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna turn around. steering turned on. Also, a cool thing, uh, <laughs> it's able to do that. <laughs> Just looks a little scary. This is a really flexible planner, to be completely honest. This is like one reason I really love this thing. It's able to, you know, unfold and fold up and ride over hills and everything. Okay, all right, steering is already activated. I didn't have to leave that little gap there. That's okay. <laughs> Making mistakes, it's part of the process. Okay, I think I've got enough room to finish this entry around. Yeah. Because yeah. I planted that, or I put the uh, solar, put the solar right here. I didn't realize I actually accidentally left myself enough room. A little further. And slow. Oh, that's not going to be enough right now. One cool thing about the uh, auto steering is you can just leave that on and it will well, obviously steer for you, but oh wow, whoa! <laughs> just barely fit. Uh, yeah, you can go as slow as you want and I'm just stuck in the habit of, you know, using cruise control to, you know, s stay at a certain speed. But uh, it'll steer as slow as, you know, there's no minimum speed for it to steer for you, which, I don't know, I just think that's kind of cool. Down, plant, so. And this is a small field, but it still feels like, you know, this size planter should be, we should already be done by now. <laughs> but it's probably most of the, uh, it would be done by now. If, I knew what I was doing, <laughs> or if uh, yeah, I was installing. Right. Uh, let's see. I'll just stop a little earlier. Yeah, there's the beeping. And the beeping that you're hearing is, uh, it's telling me that I can raise it up here and come back and do a path in this direction. Um, so perpendicular of, of the way I was planting, so that, you know, that gives you more room to turn around, of course, so. Uh, not that beat, that's a different beat. But, yeah, just FYI. One cool, th another cool thing about this mod. I'm gonna turn on steering now, just so we're hit, oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> that direction, I wanna go that way. Hmm? Doesn't know what I'm trying to do yet. That's okay. Nope. <laughs> there we go. Go a little slower. And wait, well, I might as well just yeah. I guess I'll be doing a vertical or a perpendicular pass, so doesn't tell me when to put it down, does it? Does it? I don't know. But yeah, so... Um, oh, okay, and yeah, so the other thing I want to do... Oh, we're already at 14 minutes. Uh, the other thing I want to do is... So I purchased a um, self-propelled spreader. Uh, uh, 4940. I'm just going to finish this line. 4940, um, and I'm choosing to spread. Uh, well, I've got a solid, uh, or what would you call that? You know, a hopper on the back instead of a sprayer attachment. 
for spreading, you know, solids um, like pelletized lime or fertilizer and stuff like that. Um, and the reason, I, well, it, that is the reason I purchased that is because I would like to do, would like to do spreading lime and fertilizer, you know, instead of having, uh, you know, it's just easier to do that. Hold on, I'm trying to think and drive. <laughs> I don't know why it wants to drive in that direction. <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about early. Nope. <laughs> why is it? Hold on. Oh, okay. I don't know. I was probably fighting myself there. Oh, I wonder. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow, we were right on. I don't know if you can see the orange dots down there. We're going to be right on the edge. It's perfect. Because it gave us a gap over there, but on this side it's going to end up being perfect. That's interesting. Um, of course, my planner is not quite where it needs to be yet. I'm going to go ahead and back up a little bit. Just because on this side of the field, I won't have to do another uh, pass, or perpendicular pass. Oops. No. That's the lights. Uh, what was I doing? This. There we go. Lower. There we go. Perfect. It's gonna be a little bit of gap there. It's okay. I'm not, you know, I'm, I don't obsess over the fields looking perfect, manicured, whatever you want to call it. I try to, you know, have a little bit of, you know, just a little bit of scruff on the edge or, you know, just not worry about, you know, if it doesn't completely fill up the field perfectly. Uh, you'll see that more in my other farm, the California farm. I've kind of like, Done like the. Oh, didn't tell me to stop. Okay. The uh, California farm, I just kind of like let let some parts of the field go wild, and you know, I'm gonna have to do this part manually. But uh, yeah, things will make more. Ooh, we're <laughs> oh, we're slipping a little bit. What's oh oh? Wow. We're starting to slip a there a little bit. Is four-wheel drive? Yeah, four-wheel drive says it's one. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, we're spinning out a little bit. Okay. Come on. Just gotta get a little more throttle. There we go. <laughs> Alright. I just wanna get back. Not back into the road, but just back enough so I can fill in this edge of the field here. And no GPS this time. Damn, I'm really starting to... <laughs> I might not even be able to get the thing going. Well, let's see. I'll just drop the planner now and see if we can pull it out. Let's see what happens. We are really struggling here. But the good thing is it's not going to leave any ruts. I mean, in the real world, it's going to be ideal. Oh, we need to get... Ah, that doesn't look good. Just going to be on the edge here. There we go. Perfect. I right, once again have <laughs> made a complete mess of this. Another field, but it'll still grow. Ideally, you don't want to be planting over stuff you've already planted. You don't want to be driving over it. You know, that's part of my, uh, yeah, part of the uh, reason I'm just like freaking out. It's like trying to be a little more correct in how I do things. Okay. All right, I'm just going to, yeah, leave this here. This field's not planted, uh, of course, from that line, but I'll have to figure out what I want to do with that. I think it's still not wide enough for the case, but I could do like, yeah, one one row of something. Uh, what's our coolant? Uh, okay, there we go. Coolant's 85, 86, that's good enough. 
Okay. Well, that was... That took longer than I thought, but... <laughs> now it's canola. And... Okay. I don't know if you've seen the data in the top bottom box there. Or, excuse me. Bottom right box. Wow. Uh, it says our pH is good here, which is something... I was talking about lime earlier. And... Oh, I still have to go and decipher. I've got a little key that deciphers what this all means, but I uh, can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, pH is something I pay attention to, so the pH values. And um, I'm just going to drive so you can actually see the spreader that I purchased. Oh, I'm, you know, I could drive it to the farm, really. Um, but I also need to purchase fertilizer and lime. And that's one of the things that I have at my California farm, and I might be flying back there soon. Uh, is I have a uh, well, government subsidy uh, facility. It's a biodiesel plant and a fertilizer manufacturing plant. And it's uh, the fertilizer is manufactured from manure. And of course you could just spread manure. Um, but uh, I think, yeah, it's like, it's just one of the mods that I downloaded. And it's like, it just makes the, uh, instead of spreading manure, um, it just it's, turns it into a you know, nice pelletized product, so um, all this stuff will make sense once you actually see it, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to just, I'll hop in the pickup truck, and oh, I got some more chickens too, <laughs> I need to feed them, that'll be something else I uh, can't remember off the top of my head how that, how that works, how you feed them and everything, but yeah. One thing at a time. That's uh, one project at a time, or you know, various projects, many projects in different stages of completion. So I just head down to the shop or the uh, dealership, and I think there is one field. I think there's like a couple fields that the pH is okay, but there's like areas of the field that the pH is a little too low or it's, you know, it's not what it could be. So uh, I might take the spreader in a video coming up and apply lime and see. It'll show in the precision farming map uh, where I've applied and also we'll see if, uh, see if the pH, you know, how it affects pH and if it's a drastic change or, or what. So stuff I do, well, stop, <laughs> I'm trying to off the road. Stuff I like to play around with is uh, to see how the mods respond and you know what they say and everything. There it is. There's my insanely expensive <laughs> uh, field spreader. So uh, I think I'm just gonna, like I said, stick with um, stick with uh, yeah, solid spreading solids instead of a sprayer. Um, I don't really spray herbicide or pesticide. Um, so this is just going to be my uh, setup for spreading lime and fertilizer, you know, dry, uh, dry lime, dry fertilizer. So, uh, yeah, and looking forward to, yeah, this, this machine right here is going to be a lot of fun to, to drive around and still probably takes up the entire road here because <laughs> the roads here are, I don't know, I haven't, the roads here just feel really tiny, um, but luckily this thing's got a neat function where you can fold in the, the boom a little bit, or not the boom, but the, the wheels can be retracted somewhat closer to the frame. So, but anyway, um, yeah. Oh, there's, uh, it's got a little numbering too. So it's my first, <laughs> it's number one, uh, spreader number one. So I've got, I think, yeah, this exact setup is at the California farm too. So I, uh, I think I will be flying back there soon because it's around the same time of year, you know, it's early spring, so I was planting there earlier, and um, soon I'll be doing more planting and also, you know, various things, so anyway, I think that's it for this video, and uh, a lot more to come, so thanks for watching.